Good evening. I'm Oscar Eustace, Artistic Director of the Public Theater. Tonight, we're planning to celebrate the work of the Public Theater with our event, We Are One Public. We won't be doing that. We felt, and by we, I mean our staff, our board, our artists, that tonight was not a night to celebrate. We will be rescheduling the event shortly. Our streets are burning. The murderers of George Floyd, Ahmed Arbery, and Breonna Taylor, and Tony McDade have shocked our nation. Our pandemic, our international pandemic, which was already disproportionately affecting our black communities, has now been joined by the exposure of our national epidemic, racism. The attacks on and oppression of black men and women are intolerable. Change must come. So tonight isn't a night for celebration. It's a night for mourning and for reflection. We believe passionately in the work of the public theater, but we know that we need to do better. We need to examine our own practice. We know that the burden of educating the white members of our company have fallen disproportionately and unfairly on the black staff and artists who are part of our family. We support Black Lives Matter. We support the community-based organizations that are part of the public's family but we also support the community-based organizations who are doing the hard, detailed work on the ground of fighting racism and injustice. If you go to the public's website, you'll find a list of resources that include our community partners and other community organizations that are doing the good work and that need your resources and your actions. Now I'd like to turn the floor over to Kenny Leon, board member of the Public Theater, beloved artist, director of tonight's non-existent gala, and the director of last summer's Much Ado About Nothing in Central Park. Kenny? In times of crisis, we often turn to stories to help, to heal, to understand, but our storytelling has been stilled and paused by this pandemic. And now in the aftermath of the killing of our dear brother, George Floyd, and other black men and women in recent weeks, our nation faces another kind of outbreak. And for that, the salve of storytelling feels insufficient to heal our wounds. Like other businesses in America and other places of work, the public theater as a theater must do better. So must all of Off-Broadway and Broadway and regional theater. We as art makers, as storytellers, must do the work to uplift, empower, and center Black voices and Black stories in all of our work on all of our stages. We must continue to deliver on the values of equity, diversity, and inclusion. Now more than ever, a core piece of that commitment is to continue doing the work that combats racism, injustice, inequality. I am the product 
of generational prayers. My people came here in the bowels of a, a Dutch sea vessel, chained and shackled, headed to unknown shores. My great, great grandfather, Turner Roberts, an American slave. My great grandmother, Annie, and my great grandfather, Bubble, also an American slave, or should I say American slaves. My grandmother, Mamie, who helped to raise me, and my grandfather, Perman Wilson, were sharecroppers on a small farm in Tallahassee, Florida, with 13 children, 13 children working the farm. My mother, Annie Ruth, strong black woman who raised three kids. And of course, there was my father, Leroy. Growing up in Tallahassee, Florida. You see, somehow, on the strength of all of their prayers, all of their prayers alone, I have been able, I've been able to navigate my way through the American injustices toward blacks. On bended knees, they try to fuel the next generation, trying to pray for something more just and right. So their bending knees was a symbol of beauty. But not all bended knees are symbols of beauty. Now, bended knees symbolizes suffocating the life out of a human being. So unfortunately, the pain is deep and long for Africans in America. But I believe the solution is deep as well. It's deep, 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 deep down in the heart and soul of all human beings that little itch that knows, that know to do right, that know what right is. Now is a moment. Now could be our opportunity. Now could be a call to action. Now, now it stops. It's time. We've been doing this dance, this ugly dance called racism since 1619. That's over 400 years. How many generations? How many mothers' prayers? It's time for all of us, not just to stand in solidarity against racism, 
not just to talk, but to act against it, to use our voices, our platforms, whatever, to denounce it, to change it. And if you're honest, if we're honest with ourselves individually, we know it's time to change what you have known to be true for far too long. Our country has not yet tasted the sweet fruit or experienced the boundless beauty of justice when justice spreads its arms everywhere. I wish you and your family love. I wish you and your family safety. I wish you and your family good health. And I wish all of us, all of us a brighter tomorrow.